Here are a Trinidad sprinter, Killian Batiste. That right, that. yeah. Alright, you're yeah, here in Jamaica again. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the experience this time. I love coming to this meet because I mean, even though it's always my open the open race at my first one of the year, just the environment and the way the crowd responds to us as athletes is very encouraging and it makes you all excited to run. So this year I'm hoping to go out and um, put on a good performance and impress the crowd with me again. Alright, how has your season preparation gone so far? It's early, but how has it gone so far? Great, I've run a 4x1 and a 4x4 and in terms of my fitness level, they pretty much show me that I'm, you know, I'm fit at this point in the season and it's just being able to go out and execute and it's hard to see where I'm really at in my open event. Alright, making the world champs. The finals, possibly medal, is, is, is your objective, surely. But outside of that, what what are your main objectives for this season? Um, I think definitely to be more consistent, a consistent runner, um, consistently run at a certain time. Um, and I think once I do that, um, the more consistent I am, it's going to make it easier set up for World Championships um, going into there. I'm being confident that you know I've been a consistent all season, so just about going, going out there then and executing a great race. Alright, track and field in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. It's as you know, it's not at the level where Jamaica is, but uh -huh. the ambition is to get there. Tell us about where it's at right now. I think we did. I mean we're doing great. I think uh, the last Olympics was the best we've ever done as a country and for me um, sitting in the Olympic Village and looking at the television and seeing a lot of finalists from my country, that was very, you know, it, it was very encouraging. So I think that in itself um, is a big sign that we're moving towards um, getting to a place where we're going to get better. It may not be as fast as a say Jamaica, but I think we're certainly getting there. Speaking of Jamaica, what do you think of Jamaica's sprint dominance <laughs> in the last couple of years? Um, I think it's awesome. I mean, I didn't see it, maybe I didn't see it coming, but um, I think Jamaica has always been there. But obviously people like Nuni and Ati have always been in the background of the gold medal band. So I think when people like Sherry and Freeman and Rodin Campbell and you say, well, you want Blake out there and he went, it definitely puts Jamaica in the spotlight and it really shows up the amount of talent that you guys have uh, on the island. So I think it's pretty good. All right, thank you very much, Kira. No problem. <laughs>